Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So I'm not a big follower of social media drama. I don't follow the likes of Kim Kardashian or Piers Morgan. However, I do follow David Sinclair. Someone sent me a tweet that he recently tweeted out, uh, one that I hadn't seen and I found quite interesting. So if you haven't seen it or you're not on Twitter, I think you might find it interesting too. So let's dive in and look at David Sinclair's tweet. So it appears that this started with a tweet on the 4th of June from David Sinclair about the study into CERT 6 that extended lifespan in mice by 30%. And I've posted a video on that very interesting topic. Be sure to check it out. In a comment in that tweet was the question from Anti Antinoja, and I apologize if I butchered the pronunciation of that name, which I probably have, asking David Sinclair to comment on a link that they included. That link takes you to the Brad Stanfield Why I Stopped Taking Resveratrol video. So David Sinclair replied to the question, any comments, with a two emoji reply. It seemed to say horse shit. So David Sinclair's thoughts on the Brad Stanfield video seem quite clear to me. Let me know though if you think I've misread the emoji message. So Brad Ever the gentleman did reply seven hours later and he invited David Sinclair onto his channel to discuss resveratrol research. But when I checked again on the 6th of June, I couldn't find Brad's original tweet in that thread. So it may have been deleted by him or I may not be using Twitter correctly. The second option is probably the more likely. Now, this isn't the first time that Brad has invited David Sinclair onto his YouTube channel. I haven't seen a video resulting from this first tweet. So I assume that either David Sinclair didn't see it or he has ignored it. Uh, and as the latest invite may have been deleted, we won't know if David Sinclair has replied or didn't see it or also may have ignored it. Interestingly, someone who did comment on Brad's tweet was Dan Gish. He mentions the GlaxoSmithKline study that Brad talked about where people with multiple myeloma were given resveratrol and unfortunately died. What Dan mentions and Brad either didn't know or decided to omit was that the resveratrol in the study was a synthetic derivative. I'm not sure if this is true, but it would make sense. It's very difficult for drug companies to patent a product and make money off it if it is available in nature, which resveratrol is. So as I said, I'm not a big follower of social media, but I did find that particular tweet quite interesting, as are some of the comments in the thread below. Um, I'd be interested to get your take on why you think David Sinclair did reply to the question, what, what are your comments on the video? But he has not replied to Brad Stanfield, either of Brad Stanfield's tweet requesting a uh, interview on his channel.